Hi there and welcome. I'm on a Moodle site called moodiy.work, which is completely free. And notice um, I created a course on this Moodle site called AI for ELT. I haven't really worked on the course, but I just want to demonstrate how you can make the course available for anyone. They don't have to create an account. They can just view the course like this, okay, for example. Uh, here is my course. I haven't logged in yet, as you can see at the top, right? I don't have anything here, but nonetheless, you can add content and so on. And let me show you how I did this. I'm going to log in. Okay, there I am uh, with my admin. And here is the course. Now, notice uh, what I did here. I went into participants. Under participants, I chose, notice here, enrollment methods and then guest, only guests. And you can find that if you don't see guests under choose. Okay, it'll appear there. Let me go back now to the site administration and show you what you need to do first. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add guest in the search box over there, the top right. And then notice, make sure that all these are here. So you have guests, okay, that's okay. And then uh, let's scroll down, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Notice this, you don't need to add that. Keep scrolling. Now notice here, under manage authentication, you show the guest because there's also hide. So make sure that it's show. And then let's keep scrolling down. Notice uh, the guest has to be enabled and it should be. If it's not, you need to unhide it. Notice some of these are hidden. You need to unhide it. If it's hidden, I'm sure it's not. And then you don't give access with a code. We don't want that. We just want to be able to view your course and not have to uh, do anything else. And then notice here, enrollment instance defaults. Instead of no, which is a default, you turn it to yes. So turn that to yes. And then keep going. Notice um, everything else is just fine. Okay, it has nothing to do with guests. So we'll keep going until we get to the end. And then you save changes. Well, I've saved them already. And then whatever course you have, let me go back since this is just a demo site, I'm just demonstrating how it's done going to go into home and here is the course okay now I'm going to log out again log out and you'll see that I'm able to go into the course and see whatever is here I'm not going to be able to participate in the course but I'll be able to view everything in the course I hope this has helped if you have any questions feel free to ask and add them in the comment box below and enjoy Moodle